Come on and clap those hands and give Jesus good praise. Come on, stand on your feet and give the Lord a good praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Happy anniversary, St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ. The celebration climax this evening. Come on and give God glory. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. It is five o'clock. Not somewhere, but right here. Amen. It's five o'clock right here. Amen. And we are in service. Service is now called to order. Hallelujah. We come to celebrate Jesus. We come to give him praise on tonight. Amen. For 96 glorious years. Amen. And we've had church all week long, so we're just going to take it up a few more notches. We're going to hear from our praise team. Our praise team is now prepared to lead us out. Amen. I ask that you would get with them. Amen. They're not up here to, to put on a performance, but they're up here to help us as we all praise God together. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. The song says Satan is defeated. How many of y'all know Satan is defeated? Oh, y'all don't have to be scared. I said, how many of y'all know Satan is defeated? Hallelujah. Come on, put those hands together. Listen, Satan is defeated, and I know I got the victory, God's word says so. There is no power in Satan's plan. Satan is defeated, Satan is defeated, Satan is defeated, and I know you say Satan is defeated, and I know I have the victory. I have the victory. God's word says so. There is no power. There is no power in Satan's hand. Satan is defeated. Satan is defeated. Satan is defeated, and I know. Satan is defeated, and I know. I have the victory, God's word says so. There is no power in Satan's plan. Satan is defeated, Satan is defeated, Satan is defeated. And I know you say Satan is defeated And I know I have the victory I have the victory God's word says so There is no power There is no power In Satan's plan Satan is defeated Satan is defeated Satan is defeated And I know Satan is defeated. I said I know I know, I know, I know the devil is a liar, said I know. I know, I know, I know. No weapon formed against me, said I know. I know, I know, I know. The devil is a liar, said I know. I know, I know, I know. Oh, I got it. I got it. The victory. The victory. Clap your hands. I got it. The victory. The victory. Clap your hands. I got it. The victory. The victory. Clap your hands. I got it. The victory. 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 I got it. I got it. The victory. The victory. I got it. I got it. The victory. The victory. The victory. The victory. The victory. The victory. The devil hates it. The victory. Cause I got it. The victory. I said the devil hates it. The victory. Cause I got it. The victory. Said the devil hates it. The victory. Cause I got it. The victory. 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 I got it. 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 The victory. 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 I got it. I got it. The victory. The victory. I got it. I got it. The victory. The victory. Come on, clap those hands. 
Come on, clap those hands, all ye people. Shout it to God with a voice of triumph. Let's go back to the top. Satan is defeated, and I know you say. I got the victory, God's word says so. There is no power. There is no power. And Satan's plan. Satan is. Satan is the 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 Satan is. Satan is defeated, and I know. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We came to lift up the name of Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The song says we have come into this house to gather in his name to worship him. Yes. Hallelujah. We have come into this house to gather in his name and worship him. Yes. We have come into this house to gather in his name and worship him. We have come into this house to gather in his name and worship Christ our Lord. Worship him, Christ our Lord. Help me say we have. We have come into this house to gather in his Him. Help me say so. So forget about yourself.
Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. How many of you know that God has done great things? Yes. Oh, yes. Great things. Hallelujah. And I'll say yes to our Lord. Oh, I'll say yes to my Lord. Oh, yes. I'll say yes to my Lord. He's done great things. He's done great things. I'll say yes, yes, yes to my Lord. Oh, you say. I'll say yes to my Lord. I'll say yes. I'll say yes to my Lord. He's done great things. He's done great things. Yes, he has. He's done great things. Oh, yeah. I'll say yes. Come on, let's sing that again. Oh, I'll say yes. Yes, he has. He's done great things. Oh, yeah. I'll say yes, yes, yes. Verse 2. Oh, he brought me out of darkness into his marvelous light. Placed my feet on straight street. Gave me the strength to fight. He's done great things. Yes, he has. He's done great things. Oh, yeah. I'll say yes, yes, Come on, yes, say it again I like it's your testimony. Oh, he brought me out of darkness. Into his marvelous light, placed my feet on straight street, gave me the strength to fight. He's done great things. Yes, he has. He's done great things. Oh, yeah. I say yes, yes, yes. To Come on. Lord. You said he brought you out. Brought me out of darkness. Into his marvelous light. Into the marvelous light. Placed my feet on straight Place street, on straight gave street. me the strength to fight. He's done great things. Yes, he has. He's done great things. Oh, He's done anything for you and just because of who he is we're gonna say yes Lord he's done he's done great things he's done great things I say yes 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 to my Lord oh say yes Lord yes Lord my soul says yes my soul says yes yes Lord yes Lord my soul says yes my soul says yes yes Lord yes Lord my soul says yes my soul says yes yes Lord my soul says yes. 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 Yes, he has. He's done great things. Oh, yeah. I'll say yes, yes, yes to my Lord. Oh, I'll say yes. I'll say yes to my Lord. I'll say yes. I'll say yes to my Lord. Way down on the inside. He's done great things. 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 Yes, he has. He's done great things. Yes, he has. He's done great things. He woke you up. He's done great things. Started you on your way. He's done great things. 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 Yes, he has. He's done great things. Oh yeah. He's done great things. Yes, he has. He's done great things. I say yes. I say yes, yes, yes to my Lord. Everybody, clap your hands like this. He's done great things. He's done great things. He's done great things. He's done great things. Yes, he has. He's done great things. He's done great things. He's done great things. When I look back over my life, and I see where God has brought me, he's done real good things. He's done great things. He's done real good things. He's done great things. The Lord has. He's done great things. 
Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He saved me. He raised me. He's worthy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He healed my body. He saved my soul. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Put those hands together. Give God praise. Yes, sir. sing a little bit of that and we're going to keep the praise going. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Aren't you enjoying the presence of the Lord in this place? Amen. Hallelujah. Listen. God is great and greatly to be praised. Glory, glory to his name. God is great and greatly to be praised. Bless the Lord of my soul. You say God is great. God is and great. great to be and great great to be praised. Glory, glory, glory to His name. God is great. God is great to be and great to be praised. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. God is great. God is great to be and great to be praised. Glory, glory, glory to His name. What is done for me? I get joy when I think about what is done for me. I get joy when I think about what is done for me. I get excited when I think about what is done for me. I get excited when I think about what is done for me. I get joy when I think about what is done 
done for me? What is done when I think about? What is done for me? That's what is done. 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 Listen, I don't know what you came to do, but I come to praise the Lord. And if you just think about what the Lord has done, you should give God some praise. That's what he's done. 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 He healed my body. That's what he's done. He saved my soul. That's what he's done. He picked me up. That's what he's done. He turned me around. 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 That's what he's done. for the coming of our bishop and pastor of New Community Temple, Church of God in Christ. 
the Bishop Mark Anthony Thomas Sr. First Lady, hallelujah, our pastor. Hallelujah, Pastor Bruce Elliott Hughes and our First Lady. We thank God for everybody. You'll get a formal greeting in a moment, but I just wanted to establish that right now. We come to celebrate Jesus on this evening. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm just excited all through my whole body. Hallelujah. Thank, we've been here all week having church. Hallelujah. My voice, it feels pretty good right now, Auntie. It feels pretty good. I think I'm almost back there. Ha! <laughs> Woo! At this time. My God. Yes, sir. We're going to receive a man. The other Ventress Wilson is coming to give us our prayer. Following him will be our scripture by the elder, elder Keith Flowers. Amen. And following them will be a song from the guest choir, which is our sister church. All right, that, that, that sounds better. That sounds like me now. Come on, tell the Lord, thank you. Since we are in the mode of thanking God, praising God, lifting him up, let us have a prayer of thanksgiving. Father God, we thank you today. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your tender mercy. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your joy. We thank you for, thank you for your ways. We thank you for the problem you solve. We thank you for healing our body. You thank you for waking us up this morning, starting us on our way. We thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord. We thank you for your goodness, your kindness. We thank you for being God. We thank you for being a God in the hills. We thank you for being a God in the valley. We thank you, oh Lord. We just want to thank you. 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 Oh, you've been so good. You woke us up this morning. You didn't have to do it, and we thank you. You brought us here safely, and we thank you. Oh, Lord, you here with us, oh, God. You abiding in our presence. You are in the midst of us, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. Oh, God, we just want to thank you today. Just want to thank you for being here today with our brothers and sisters, with our Father in the Gospel, our Bishop God. We just want to thank you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Rain on us. Rain on us. Rain on us. Rain on us. Rain on us, hey! Rain righteousness, rain on us, rain your goodness, rain on us, rain your kindness, rain on us, rain your strength, rain on us, your presence. We feel your presence. Oh God. Oh, God, you've just been so good. You've just been so good. I don't want to say if I had 10,000, but just let me praise you with the one. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank 
Amen. Y'all give the Lord a hand and praise. Amen. Since we're building, we're in the building and your theme. I like your theme, new mind, new thoughts, and new revelation. So I'm going to read Nehemiah, the fourth chapter in the sixth verse. So built we the wall, and all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof, for the people had a mind to work. Say with me, for the people had a mind to work. Bless God's people.
Do you want to be caught up? Do you want to be caught up? Oh! It make no sense. It make no sense to go through down here and miss that flight. We miss flights all the time. We miss flights all the time. But that's one flight. I don't need no bags. I don't need no bags. I don't even need no ticket. But what I got to have is a saying sanctified. Because I want to be caught up. Somebody come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. Oh! Somebody probably saying, he doing too much, he had a stroke. I like to think that maybe, maybe the stroke was to wake me up to do a little bit. Why quit now? Ha! So we go, I'm going to stay to this program. But it's something about when new communities ain't even get together anyway. It's just what it is. My late father-in-law said it is what it is. So we're going to get back to this program. Ooh, Jesus. My God. And I'm going to stay to this program. But I wish I had somebody that would just take a run. Anybody want to run early? Can somebody take a lap real early? Can I get an early lap? Can I get an early lap? Go ahead and put my disclaimer out now. I'm gonna be loud all evening. I'm gonna be like this all evening. I'm gonna be like this all evening. Look, we got something to eat for you in the back, so you ain't got to rush nowhere. Now, I'm off tomorrow. I'm, I'm off tomorrow.
I'm going to call first lady, but I'm going to throw this out there. God made it fail. God made it fail. God made it fail. The enemy tripped all over himself. He tripped all over himself. He didn't just fall slightly, but he fell all the way down. So, so let's receive at this time. I promise y'all this is the most difficult task and I preside over a lot of services but this one is the most Davis this is the most difficult one to do because ain't that like when you've been through something and it's like when you let it's like letting letting the dog out the house and he take off running they wouldn't let me do a whole lot around here for a couple of months oh but I'm in the front yard now I'm moving to that sidewalk. I'm moving to the sidewalk. But I thank God for this time. I love this kind of carrying on. At this time, let's receive the first lady. First lady, Vicki Hughes. First lady here at the St. Stephen Church of God in Christ. Giving honor to God, to Bishop Thomas, to my pastor, the Hughes, to Lady Kim, to Mother James, and to all of the mothers, and, oh, excuse me, elders and ministers, missionaries, to everyone here. We welcome our sister church, New Community Temple Church of God in Christ, and celebrate with us. <laughs> as we worship and praise God for all he has done here at St. Stephen's. It is with great honor I stand before you today to welcome you to celebrate with us in our 96th church anniversary. We praise God for his mercy and goodness. He has blessed us here as a church. We must also acknowledge the great men of God who pastored St. Stephen's during these 96 years. First, our founder, Elder J. Rome Spence, who didn't say, who didn't say no when he was given the task to come to this little area called SeaTac. To the Elder Thurlin Burden, who preached. <laughs> who preach holiness and righteous living. And to the Bishop Ted Thomas Sr. Yeah. Who had a vision and renovated our church. And also our current pastor, the elder Bruce Elliott here. <laughs> who worked tirelessly in the restoration and beautification of this church. These great men ministered and led the people to Christ, and souls were saved through them. 
And we ask you to join us in celebrating with us and thanking God for what he has doing in our lives and during this church anniversary. And if you, have, if you don't feel welcome yet, because Ella Rose I'm certainly has welcomed you, please welcome. Hey Amen. We thank God for our first lady. And someone said it in the church anniversary. I thank God for recall. Someone said, out of 96 years, we've only had four. Four. Not 44. Because some churches, you know, they only 10th pastor, and we just three years out in the pandemic. Some churches change pastors, like, you know, getting up in the morning and, you know. But we've only had four. To God be the glory for the foundation here and the spirit of Christ that lives within this place that we've had longevity in our leaders here at this church. And so we thank and praise God for that. Amen. At this time, we're going to get a selection from the choir after which I'll be back to formally bring forth, amen, our bishop. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, help us do this song. It's an old song. We're going to do it together. Come on, get on your feet with us and clap your hands with us. Come on. Everlasting life, everlasting life, everlasting 
together in order to be caught up you got to come through the door hallelujah we thank and praise God for the choir they also I tell you they're just doing what they do they're doing what they do hallelujah thank it not strange hallelujah they're doing what they do and man it gives me great honor and privilege for we have moved to offering time we are in the ministry of giving come on and clap those hands and celebrate Jesus and for this moment I am going to ask that everyone would please stand. Amen. I am going to formally introduce Bishop when I come back. But right now, I want everyone to stand and receive the pastor of the New Community Temple, Church of God in Christ, the Bishop, Mark Anthony Thomas Sr. Come on and give the Lord a praise for him. Come on, let's give the Lord a glad hand praise, everybody. You're going to have to help me in this monitor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated for a moment. We give honor to God, our Father, Jesus, our elder brother, the Holy Ghost, our keeper. Amen. We thank God for his spirit and anointing that's resting in this place. Don't you feel the presence of the Lord in this place? Amen. We thank God. And certainly we salute, amen, this tremendous man of God. And we say congratulations on his graduation. We thank God for the pastor, Bruce Elliott Hughes. Come on, I know you can do better than that. Let's praise God for. Amen. Proud graduate on today. And all those who are graduating, matriculating the last few weeks, if you are here and I have not had a chance to say congratulations to you, we wish you Godspeed. Amen. On your journeys. Let's give all our graduates a hand. We certainly honor God for our first lady, Lady Vicki Hughes, on today. Amen. And certainly to all of the elders here at St. Stephen's, amen. We thank God for each and every one to our presider, the elder Roderick Rose. Amen. All these tremendous men of God that we have here on today. Amen. We thank God for each and every one. Amen. There you, you coming on through. Amen. We thank God for each and every one of you on today. Amen. Certainly to our dear uh, apostle, we thank God for you being with us on today and his wife. Amen. And I'm glad to see Elder O's in the room today. God bless you, Elder O's. We thank God for you. 
Amen. All of these fine preachers to uh, all of the preachers at New Community Temple, to all of these fine missionaries, saints, and friends, all of you God's people. Amen. What would the church be without you? Amen. What would the church be without you? We thank God for each and every one of you. To this tremendous choir that's serving on today. They're doing a phenomenal job, certainly to all of these preachers from New Community Temple and to my own lovely wife, Evangelist Naomi Kim Thomas. We're certainly godly proud of her. Amen. And we're glad to be here to celebrate this 96th church anniversary. Amen. Come on, that's worth giving God a praise. Ninety-six years, and we have praised the Lord. We have, we have danced. We have celebrated. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to give a word, um, but you know, uh, this week, the fourteenth, the fourteenth of June, the fourteenth of June. Somebody laughing already, Amen. But the fourteenth of June, the Lord would have blessed me to be married to my wife. For 26 years. And uh, as much as I know she loved me, and you know, and I know I don't have to bring nothing special home. I, I don't know how many people heard Mother Lewis preach the other night. Uh, but she said, if you got a good man, I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to leave that right there. And so it don't have to be a special occasion. But if you got a good man, and, and I try to be, I try to be a good husband. And, uh, and so I know that if I let the 14th come by, and while I don't have to have anything, if I don't give her anything, that's not going to say too much about the type of husband I am. And so we can't have worshipped in here for 96 years and uh, watch God add to the church, watch God build up and watch God renovate and change and move. And we come here and celebrate 96 years. We ought to also bring God a gift into the house of the Lord. Don't you think so? Amen. And so I'm going to ask our leaders to come, those who are leading. And uh, I'm going to ask a few deacons from New Community to come. And we're going to give them an opportunity uh, to say words. And we're going to help to do... Um, a job for the Lord on today. God bless these great people of God. They're coming. These captains are coming at this time. All right, new community. I need some folk up here. Dragon. Amen. New, new community. community. I'm, I'm looking. Come on to the table, son. Amen. We praise God tonight for the saints being with us. And we thank you, Bishop, and the new community, Temple Church of God in Christ, being with us this evening. I was over there. I was going to let them talk because I need to calm down. Um, Brother Reuben always sang that song, and we sang it in the state. And it does something to my inside. So I was sitting there trying to, you know, I thought it was going to be kind of cute today. Y'all like my hat? I thought it was going to be kind of cute today. But when he starts singing that song, and the choir said, I want to be caught up. I, the older I get, I'm, I'm not talking about y'all, you know, you know. Everybody's going to get older. Everybody's going to die. But when he said, I want to be caught up, the bishop's going to preach. But I might not be here to finish the message. But just in case, I want to be caught up. Uh, 
That's where my focus. We've had church all week. And I'm not going to dance right now. I'm going to dance again. I'm going to dance again. But it's something about if you listen to the song and then they came right, about, right around again and say, you must come. No time to play church. And I ain't coming here to bring no message. We came here to get some money. And I thank you, God. Somebody said, take it easy and take light steps. And I'm taking it easy and I'm taking light steps right now. Because the bishop's going to preach. But I'm looking out for my feet right now. Yes, listen. Don't y'all do that. We're going to calm down. All is going to calm down. All is going to calm down. We ask tonight. God has blessed us. We had a goal in mind. I just want to say, they talk about the national church. You know, they said all over, Bishop, and, um, and we boast about it now. The church of God of Christ is no longer in debt. Y'all heard that? And every time we have a church anniversary, St. Stephen is no longer in what? So y'all help us tonight. We have something else in mind. And we ask a new community if they will help us as well. And we're going to do all this together. We only need $6,000 to take us where we need to be. And, and, and Bishop, see Ella Rose always act up. And our pastor acts up. Pastor Hughes starts out with a thousand dollars. Ella Rose just put a thousand dollars in my hand, and we got some more thousand dollars around the table. And if y'all help us, we'll get there. Thank you, Bishop. I don't say no more because y'all gonna make me jump. Amen. We want to be of some aid and assistance in reaching um, that goal today. I need you. You need me. We're all a part of God's body. Stand with me. Agree. Agree with me. We're all a part of God's body. It is His will that every need be. Yes, you are important. I need you to survive. You are important. I need you to survive. Would y'all help me sing that all over the house? Come on, if you know it, help me sing it. I need you. You need me. We're all a part of God's body. Stand with, agree, agree with me. We're all a part of God's body. It is His will. You are important. I need, I need you to survive. Come on, one more time. You are. You are important to me. I need you to survive. Hallelujah. 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 I need you to survive I didn't sing the other part perhaps I should have uh, it says I pray for you <laughs> you pray for me hallelujah I won't harm you with words from my mouth I love you I need you to survive I, I gotta just do it come on I pray for you you come on point at somebody in this room and tell them i love you i need you to survive come on tell them i won't harm you with words from my mouth i love you i need you to i pray for you you pray for me Whoa. Good word for my 
mouth. I love you. Come on, it is his will. Yes. It is his will that it will be. Come on. You are important to me. I need you to serve. Hallelujah. Go, go. Hey. What are you saying, Bishop? All I'm saying is we're in this thing together. We're in this thing together. We come to encourage our brothers and our sisters in the faith. And so new community, they've already started $2,000. I'm going to sow a $500 seed um, myself. Um, I want to praise God for my brother, Elder Charles Thomas, not able to be here with us. Uh, he just got a job, and I meant to congratulate him. I did in, in the morning session, but I didn't in the worship session. But he's just been named the head coach of Western Branch High School boys basketball team. Yeah. So he's running the whole program. He's got the whole program. Boston and JV. And uh, they had to be at JMU this afternoon. And so he left church early to travel with the team to uh, Harrisonburg, Virginia. That's about five or six hours drive. But he's so faithful. He was in church in the house this morning and just left a tad bit early to make his way. And he didn't leave without leaving a seed to do what? Help. Because he loves you. And so he's left a hundred dollar seed on today. Uh, offering. Uh, new community, I know we had a wonderful service today and our faith was challenged this morning. But I will need you, I need some folk to stand with Elder Charles and I in sowing that hundred dollar seed. Elder White is going to sow a hundred dollars. Uh, Elder Flowers is going to sow one hundred dollars. Thank you, sir. Amen. I need some more folk that would uh, give God that $100 gift. Amen. We're going to march the house soon, but we just want to set a foundation for what we're doing on today. Amen. And I want to challenge some folk in this 96th church anniversary um, because we want to be a blessing. And so I need some folk that would sow a $100 seed. Amen. In fact, you don't have to be. We, they say we're raising this together. And so uh, I'm going to ask you wherever you are and whoever you are, amen, to if you're going to sow a $100 seed. I want as many people that will that will stand with a $100 seed today. So whoever you are, wherever you're from, amen. Elder Minister. Uh, yes, sir. All right. Minister Whitfield. Uh, he's been at New Community Temple. My, my cousin Renee. Amen. God bless you. Sowing a hundred dollars. Y'all continue to stand. I want to see where we are. If you don't mind, continue to stand. If you don't mind, continue to stand. Thank you. Amen. If you don't mind, continue to stand. I want, I want to see where I am. Give me an opportunity to see where we are. Thank you so kindly. If you're online, we know the ways of giving are there and we want you to join us. We need you to survive today. Amen. And so thank God for you, Sister Renee. Thank God for, amen, our dear mother here. Amen. One, two, three, four. Mother O's and Sister Rose are sowing 100 minutes to land. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Amen. Anybody else going to join us with that $100 seed on today? Amen. I want to challenge your faith. Amen. If you're going to join us with that hundred dollar seed today. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. All right. I want everybody else in here. We're getting ready to march the house. Um, but we bought a special seed from New Community uh, to help us. I'm going to ask everybody to stand. Uh, because y'all thought I was going to say 75, 50 auction. I don't auction God off. Uh, I feel the presence of God. I just felt it saying, I need you. You need me. And sometimes you just got to know how to jump in. Other times you just, it is what it is. You know. 
amen by your faith so be it unto you and um but i want you i want to challenge there may be somebody here that cannot sow that 100 dollars seed i want to encourage you to get as close as you can to it whether that's 49 whether that is 50 whether that's 70 whatever it is i want you to find your place and i want you to sow with us today we have a special seed from new community along with my $500 of $1,000 that we are going to sow uh, from New Community Temple on today. Father, we thank you now for this opportunity to give. We pray now, God, that you'd bless both gift and giver, that you'd multiply it. Let little become much as we place it in your hand, and we'll give you all of the glory and the honor, all the praise that belong to you in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. You're in the hands of the ushers. Amen. Just follow their direction. Amen. Let's give as heartily as unto the Lord. New community, you can come over here. Amen. To my left. Amen. And so, Sister Missionary Monica Cousins left $25. Amen. Uh, Elder Greg Taylor left $40. Deacon Thomas Council left $25. The other white.
Y'all might as well clap your hands. You know, you, you know, you know you like that. Keep clapping. 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 I believe it. 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 I did not acknowledge him, but I want to acknowledge Elder Benjamin Watts. And uh, he called me. He could not be here. He's not feeling well. I want to ask the saints to just pray for Elder Watts. But as we were so close while we were helping over here, and they just needed a few dollars. The Lord laid on my heart to sow a hundred dollars in the name of Bishop. I mean, of the name of Elder Benjamin Watts. Amen. So I want to sow a hundred dollars in his name. I think if there's no mistake, we're going to present from New Community to St. Stephen's. Um, did we pray over the offering? Let me pray. Father, we thank you now for your spirit and your anointing. We thank you for every seed that has been given. We pray now, God, that you not allow any home to go in lack of want for what we sow in the kingdom, but allow us to be called blessed. Blessed in the city, in the field when we come. When we go, we'll tell men you did it. We'll give you the credit. For it's in you we live, move, and have our being. And we say thank you right now. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. If there's no mistake, amen, we want to present to St. Stephen's $3,070 from New Community. Thank you so much, Bishop. Um, St. Stephen has $4,600. New community added 70, 70 more dollars. We have $7,670. Thank y'all so, so, so very much. Man. Come on in, let's clap our hands again and let's give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah! Oh. Yes, sir. My, my, my. Money, money sound like that would, would make the late Bishop Ted G. Thomas' feet would move. His feet would start shifting in his seat. <laughs> my God. My God. And we did it with joy. And it was done joyfully. Hallelujah. At this time, we're moving with our program on this year. Amen. God has laid it upon the heart of, of our coordinator of our anniversary along with our pastor. Amen. To do some presentations to some folks on this evening. And so at this time, let us receive the pastor of the St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ, Pastor Bruce Elliott Hughes. Amen. As we now enter into the honoree. Say Amen. Certainly we thank God for being here today to the presider, Elder Roderick Rose, to our prelate, to Bishop Mark Anthony Thomas, amen, to all of the assembled, amen. It's time we hear from the Lord, amen. I'm just going to be brief, amen, make a special presentation to some of the pioneers, amen, who have served, amen. Our theme, amen, is new mind, new thoughts, and new revelations, amen. We won't forget those who paved the way for us. So at this time, Lady Hughes is going to read, amen, the bio or special information about some of our honorees, amen. We're able to serve, make presentations to some of our leaders in our communities, but amen, we come back home to honor some of our leaders. There's no place, catch it, like home. 
Our first honoree, Mother Lillian Beavers. She's a... Mother Beaver is a member of St. Stephen's for over 30 years. She loves to come to Sunday school. She loves to sing in the gospel choir. Her favorite color is purple. Her favorite fruit food is potato salad. She's an avid reader. She loves people and she loves her family. Yes. She loves to do word search puzzles and she's a natural comedian. <laughs> With our greatest appreciation, we hereby honor Mother Lillian Beavers in recognition for your passion and commitment. Thanks, Stephen Church of God in Christ, Pastor Bruce Hughes. Thank you. Our next honoree, Mother Alice Thinner. <laughs> Mother Thinner has been a member of St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ for over 65 years. Wow. She served under the other joint uh, excuse me, Joe Rome Spence, Thurlin Burden, Ted Thomas, and Bruce Hughes. She served on the Usher Board, Nursing Unit, Hospitality, and YWCC. She's a, she is faithful to Tuesday prayer band and 6 a.m. prayer. She helps her in the kitchen in the basement preparing and selling dinners. Her assignment was serving the people and she did it faithfully. She loves visiting the sick in their home, hospital, and nursing home. Cleaning up Saints' home is needed and buying whatever they need. She volunteered at Open Door Chapel, helping out with the food bank. Her favorite song, May the Work I've Done Speak for Me. She loves family and seeing people eat and be happy. Her favorite food is seafood. And her favorite res restaurant is Red Lobster. Her favorite color is pink. Mother Fender, Fender motto is, if you are going to live, say, then live safe. If you're going to live as a sinner, live as a sinner. By all means, don't be a hypocrite. <laughs> With our greatest appreciation, we hereby honor Mother's Alice Finner in recognition of your passion and commitment. St. Stephen Church of God in Christ, Pastor Bruce Hughes, thank you. And our last honoree today is Mother Maud Freeman. <laughs> Mother Freeman has been a member of St. Stephen's for over 55 years. She loves starting her day by reading God's word and praying. She continues to fast on the cogent fast days, Tuesdays and Fridays. She always loves attending Sunday school and YPWW. She lives the written word. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. Psalms 121, one through two. She loves seafood restaurants. She loves cooking meals. And she loves home-cooked meals, hats, chicken and dumpling, tomato pudding, corn pudding, collard greens, and meatloaf, and Carolyn's potato salad. Her motto, if you see me coming, I got him, Jesus, on my mind.
greatest appreciation, we hereby honor Mother Maude Freeman in recognition of your passion and commitment. St. Stephen Church of God in Christ. Pastor Bruce Hughes, thank you. God bless you. They say, be ye also ready. Hallelujah. Oh, in the, in, okay, First Lady. I give, give our guests, thank you, Lord, for studying. <laughs> On behalf of our church family, our pastor, Elder Bruce Hughes and First Lady Vicki Hughes, we want you to know that we love you. We present these beautiful flowers to you, beautiful flower. God bless you. Okay, steps are right here. Stay right here. Yeah. Yeah. Here at St. Stephen, um, I tell the members and, you know, whenever mama's home, you know, you know, daddy come home, you know, we, hey, here come daddy. But when mama come home, here come mama. And so when we have guests, even in the house, it's something about when mama shows up. So our mother here of St. Stephen Church of God in Christ is here as well. And we would like to present these flowers to you as well. Amen. We thank and praise God. We show love around these parts. Amen. We thank and praise God for our pastor. Amen. Pastor Hughes and the heart and passion that he has for, amen, our seniors here in the St. Stephen's Church. Amen. Those that have labored, amen, as we call our pioneers. Amen. We thank and praise God. Let's give them another hand. Amen. It is my honor and privilege, amen, to, amen, to introduce and present to you Amen. Our speaker of the hour for this evening. I thank and praise God for this man of God, for he truly encourages me time after time. And I can recall, and I'm going to say this openly, when Bishop Mark called me when I was in the hospital, and I was beginning to say to him that I was going to make sure that my financial obligations would be at the workers meeting because I knew you know that I would would not be able to be there and Bishop Mark said to me he said to me in these words don't worry about getting your money there you focus on getting better his primary concern was for my my well-being. So I wanted to say that openly. I thank Bishop Mark, amen, for his encouragement and his and believing in me and, I, and the opportunity to serve in the historic First Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. It is, again, it is my honor to present, amen, the pastor of the New Community Temple, Church of God in Christ. <laughs> Jurisdictional prelate, and I believe you are eighth in succession, amen, of our glorious jurisdiction, amen. He is an educator. He is a, he is a learned man. He is a family man, married to, amen, our evangelist first lady, amen, Naomi Kim Thomas. He is the father of four sons. And he's now become a spiritual father, amen, of many across the nation. Many call on him for advice and for things, amen, because he holds such a wealth of wisdom, amen. We have someone that we are truly godly proud of in these parts. Hallelujah. 
And I'm talking again, amen, none other than our own, amen, the Bishop Mark Anthony Thomas Sr., amen. And I would ask that as he would come after the choir has given us one of their choicest selections, I would ask that everyone would stand all over the sanctuary and let us receive, amen, the preached word of God coming from our pastor and our bishop, the Bishop Mark Anthony Thomas Sr. Hear ye him.
Lord, help me to follow me. Lord, help me to follow me. Lord, help me to follow me. Lord, help me to follow thee. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give this choir another hand. And you all can come down. Don't leave, but come on in and come on in and hang out with us a while. Amen. Lord, help me to follow thee. Amen. Amen. I failed in my rising to recognize the presence of Pastor Albert James and our assistant supervisor, Mother James, on today. Come on, I think we can do better than that. Amen. We thank God for them uh, being with us on today. Amen. Such great, tremendous people of the Lord. Amen. And we are certainly thankful, delighted for their presence. Amen. I, the presence of the Lord is in this place. And again, we salute you on 96 years and all of the love that was shown. Um, I had in my mind that I was going to preach from Matthew chapter 10. Um, where Jesus tells the disciples to go and preach the gospel and to heal the sick and to cast out demons. The conclusion of the matter was even as the body of Christ today, if we confess him, then he will confess us before his father in heaven. But as a church, if we deny him, he will deny us before his father which is in heaven and I was going to preach from the text that said are you not worth more than many sparrows and my text was going to be the worth of a disciple um, but I'm led to go differently as I observe the services on today uh, I listened to the statement that was read by Mother Fenner that said, uh, if you're going to be saved, be saved. And if you're going to be a sinner, be a sinner. But whatever you do, she said, don't be a hypocrite. <laughs> Took me back to the message I preached on last Sunday at New Community. And uh, I said, I think I need to go back there and visit it one more time. I'm going to add a little bit that I didn't add last Sunday. But if you have your Bibles, turn with me to the book of 2 Kings, chapter 13. 2 Kings, chapter 13. And then put your thumb in Revelation, chapter 3. 2 Kings, chapter 13. 13 verse number 14 says now Elisha was fallen sick of his sickness whereof he died and Joash the king of Israel came down unto him and wept over his face and said oh my father my father the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And Elisha said unto him, Take bow and arrows. And he took unto him bow and arrows. And he said unto the king of Israel, Put thine hand upon the bow. And he put his hand upon it. And Elisha put his hands upon the king's hands. Somebody said, Lord, anoint me one more time. 
And he said, open the window eastward. And he opened it. Then Elisha said, shoot. And he shot. And he said, the arrow of the Lord's deliverance. And the arrow of deliverance from Syria. For thou shalt smite the Syrians in Aphek till thou have consumed them. How long are you going to smite them? Till they have been what? Consumed. That word consumed means until they are no more. When God does a thing, he wants to complete the work. And he said, take the arrows, and he took them. And he said unto the king of Israel, smite upon the ground. And he smote thrice and stayed. That means he stopped. And the man of God was wroth with him. That means he was upset. Wroth is worse than upset. Rolf is really angry. And he said, thou should have smitten five or six times. Then hadst thou smitten Syria till they had been, what? Consumed. Whereas now thou shalt smite Syria but thrice. All right. And then I want to go to Revelation chapter 3. Revelation chapter 3, verse number 14. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, this is for mother, these things saith the amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm. I guess if mother was talking, she'd say, so then, since you are a hypocrite. And neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, listen to this, I am rich and I increased with goods and have need of nothing. And knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. I counsel thee, that's pretty much saying I beg of thee, buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment that thou mayest be clothed, that the shame of thy nakedness does not appear. And anoint thine eyes with eyesal, that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke, and I chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him, and he with me. To him that overcometh, Will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne? He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the church. Father, we thank you now for this time. We pray now, God, your word our mouth. Use these lips to clay to your glory. Let no flesh glory in your sight, but allow us to speak as the oracle of God and not as a natural man. And we'll give your name the glory and the honor and the praise that belong to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen and amen. You may be seated. Amen. I want to use for a thought today, uh, even though it's been nine to six years, we have to be careful because there's danger in indifference. I want to talk to you today from that thought, the danger of indifference. Come on, tell somebody the danger of indifference. Mother just told you, if you're going to be saved, be saved. If you're not, don't be. But don't be a hypocrite. 
We'll find that we're living in a time now, I believe that COVID has made it easier for us to take on an indifferent attitude when it comes to living for the Lord. There are people everywhere saying, I'm saved, but they don't bear any fruit. They come to church sometimes Sunday after Sunday, but every Saturday night before Sunday, they go to the club. They have developed an attitude of indifference. What is indifference? Indifference is to deem something unimportant. To develop a lack of concern or a lack of interest. This is critical because when we think we're doing right and we're not, we begin to drift. My father would say drifting is going without knowing. And we've gotten complacent in this uh, post-COVID era. Some begin to rely even on social media that could be in the house of the Lord. Um, but because of the spirit of indifference, well, I don't need to go, uh, but the Bible tells us, forsake not the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but so much the more, even as we see the day approach, we should be headed where? To the house of the Lord. And how many really know that God is soon to come? And the text opens us up with the Laodicean church, and we see Jesus speaking. The letters in red indicate Jesus, and he, in, he introduces himself uh, by saying uh, that he's writing unto the angel of the church of Laodicea. And he says, these things saith the amen, the true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. Think about that, the amen, that term in and of itself tells you uh, that whatever Jesus said is going to happen. The amen, we normally pray that when we pray our prayer, we close with amen, which means so let it be. And we close because we're looking for God to accomplish that that we quested in our prayers. But Jesus is saying, write this to the angel of the Laodiceans. The thing saith the amen. In other words, before I even say it, what I am going to say will manifest and will come to pass. In other words, you can rely on God's word. And he says this to the church at Laodicea, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. He says, I would that thou wert cold or hot so be, because then thou art neither so then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot I will spew you out of my mouth it's important that we look at Laodicea in context because that's the church that's being written to we certainly see the issue without glancing the issue is they became a lukewarm church they had one foot in the door and one foot out the door and we see that so many times today, and they developed a spirit of arrogance, I would even say, and self-dependence and self-reliance. And if God doesn't like anything, he says in his word that he hates pride. And the Bible said that they say, I am rich and increased with goods. I have need of nothing. And know us not that we are wretched, miserable. And poor. In other words, without Christ, we wouldn't be anything. John 15 tells us that he is divine and we are the branches. And he goes on saying, without him, we can do nothing. So I came to tell you, saints, there's nothing you can do outside of the will of God. Oh, God, it's in him that we live and move and have our being. But this church, the Laodicean church, had become... Oh, my God, taking on a place of self-sufficiency, the place where they were, uh, the place where it is developed uh, uh, geographically uh, was developed between Corinth and between uh, Ephesus. They had another little name for this city, and I, it starts with an H. I can't think of it right now. But Ephesus was on the other side, and Laodicea was smack dab in the middle. And they had waterways, the waterways in Corinth, was cold and fresh water. 
the waterways near the Ephesus in this other little city, amen, was hot like Arkansas. They had hot springs, cold for refreshment. You know the hot springs are for medicinal purposes. But the way, F, the way Laodicea was situated, the rivers ran to Laodicea. By the time it got to them and came together, the waters became lukewarm. And the waters became lukewarm. They really weren't good for anything. They were salty and lukewarm. Uh, my wife and I had the privilege of going to Asia, amen, and, and, and we were there for two weeks. And they took us out to an island. We were in Thailand, Phuket, Thailand. And they took us out to a group of islands called the Fuji Islands. And they rode us on a speedboat. And uh, I had been on a speedboat once before, but this trip was a little longer. We were in, uh, where were we at last year? We went on the speedboat, it, Aruba. Yeah, we were in Aruba. And we went, yeah, that was the anniversary of last year. I wonder what the Lord's going to do this year. No, no. But we were in Asia, and they were taking us out. This trip was a little longer, and the waters began to get rough, and, uh, but, but the driver never broke his speed. And so anybody been on speed boats before, you know that those boats start to skip and start to hit the waves. And so as that boat was going, it started to skip and hit the waves, and the water started jumping up, out, up in the air, and up and all over my head. We were getting wet in the speed boat. And Kim looking at me, and uh, she slid on over. I said, listen, he's not flinching. As long as the driver is okay, we are okay. And so he was driving. But while I was talking to her, my mouth opened. Some of that water got in my mouth. And it was so salty that all I could do was spit it out. Think about that. The spit wasn't something that I would have wanted to do because it was other people on the boat. And you don't want to be unsanitary. And you will never want to do that. But it was just so salty I couldn't do nothing but spew it out. And this is Jesus talking to the Laodicean church. He's not saying I'm going to spit you. He's saying I'm going to spew you, which means I'm going to vomit. Your praise is tainted because you got one foot in the church. One foot out of the church. You won't stay saved. You won't stay consecrated. You won't live for the law. And because you got one foot, one foot out. Amen. When you praise, I got to spew it out. Because it's lukewarm. It's not refreshing. And it's not good for medicinal purposes. But then I, I still develop a complex behind this text. Because he's saying, I'm going to spew it out because you're lukewarm. He says, I would that you were hot or cold. So I'm saying, now, Lord, you got to help me with this. Because I know what it means for somebody's soul to catch on fire. That means we are right there. The Lord, amen, he's with us. Amen, we are right next to God. God is, is, is hearing our prayer. We are hot. Oh, y'all say something here. Some, look at somebody, tell them, I wish somebody's soul would catch on fire. But notice what Jesus says. I would that you were hot or cold. So that left me with a question. Lord, why would you prefer that somebody be cold further away than a lukewarm person? Why would you wish somebody be cold versus being lukewarm? Why would you prefer that they would be cold? And, and the Lord showed it to me. Uh, uh, it's because... People today especially look like they have a problem making commitment. One thing about a hot person, they're going to be fully committed to serving the Lord. But one thing we know about a cold person, they're not going to come in church and act like they saved if they're not saved. They're going to give their whole heart to whatever it is they're doing. It may not be coming to church, but they're going to give their whole heart to whatever it is they're doing. And Jesus, when I looked at this, God gave me the revelation. I can take a person with a cold heart, a stony heart, and turn it into a heart of flesh and bring them in and use them for my glory. Then the Lord referred me to Isaiah who said, I'm a man of unclean lips. But he said, woe is me. But when the, when the question came, who would go for us and who shall we send? He said he made a commitment. Here am I, Lord. Send me. 
If that's not good enough for you, the Lord showed me one of the coldest persons in the Bible. He showed me Saul on the road to Damascus. As cold as cold could get. But one day the Lord knocked him off his high horse. Mm, Lord said, you kick against the prick. He said, Lord, who are you? It's amazing. He said, he said, who is this? And then he said, Lord. He knew this was somebody greater than him that he needed to submit to. He said, Lord, who is this? He said, it's Jesus whom you persecute. You kicking against the prick. Go and I'm going to show you. I got somebody waiting to show you what to do. And my God, we have 13 epistles out of the scripture from a stony cold heart that God brought in and turned around for his glory. And if God can do it for Saul, look at somebody and tell him he can do it for me. He can do it for that wayward son. He can do it for that wayward daughter. He can do it. But you got to look unto Jesus who is the author and finisher of your faith. I'm almost through. So Jesus gave them a word of advice. I'm going to have to cut this short. Jesus gave them a word of advice after they said that they were rich. Didn't know that they were miserable. Didn't know that they were naked. Didn't know that they were blind. Didn't know that they were wretched. But the Bible tells us that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And so they didn't know, but Jesus gave them a word and said, uh, he said, I counsel thee that you buy of me, buy of me gold, and buy of me that you might be white and that you might have on white raiment. And this is, I'm cutting across the field, now this is the problem that we see even in our world today. We won't, we won't uh, give over to the Lord. We won't commit to God. Oh, my God. And we want to try to fight and do things on our own. But the key, the key, the key to beating the devil is to submit to God. Lord, have mercy. James said, submit yourselves unto the Lord. Resist the devil and he will flee. And that's the issue that we have here in 2 Kings. Uh, kings and second kings uh, uh, we have an issue here um, we have an issue with king joash king joash is uh, the descendant of king uh, jehoahaz uh, he follows him and when you read uh, amen he is the lineage of king joash the king of judah and the bible says um, in verse number one that they did all that was they wanted to do that was wrong in the sight of God. And the same thing happened with Joash as king. They did everything wrong or evil in the sight of God. Um, and this is amazing to me because they were doing evil according to the works of Jeroboam. And if you know anything about Jeroboam, Jeroboam was one that led the people to false gods. He had idol gods. And this is amazing because now this king of Israel, Joash, the Bible says that uh, Elijah was falling sick of his sickness. Whereof he was going to die. And Joash, the king of Israel, the Bible says that he came down unto him. And he wept over his face. And he said, oh, my father, my father. And he says, the chariots of Israel um, and the horsemen thereof. Um, I need you to really get what this is saying. He understands and he sees um, that the prophet is getting ready to die. So when he talks about the chariots and the fire and the horsemen coming, um, he's talking about Elisha's soul getting ready to depart and go back to God. Um, and he's in a place where they're following the works of Jeroboam, um, which led the people to be cold. And they were kept in captivity by the Syrians um, because they had given them all of the temple articles and elements. Um, they had given them all of the gold out of the temple. 
They had given them all the communion pans. They had given them all the crosses. They had given them all of the pulpits. All of the items that we use for worship. They had turned them over to the Syrians. And now he's king. And the only one that can get the God for Israel is about to die. And he said, what am I going to do in captivity? And the only person that can get a word from the Lord is about to die. And the Bible says that he went to Elisha. And he was sick and he said, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And Elisha said unto him, take the bow and arrow. And he took the bow and the arrow. And he said to the king, he said, put your hand on the bow. And the king put his hand on the bow. Then he told Elisha, he said, open the window eastward. And Elisha told the king, he said, put your hand on the bow. And he put his hand on top of the king's hand. I know that things may not be all you want them to be. But you ought to ask the Lord, just anoint me one more time. You got to understand what Joash was dealing with. He was having a complex issue. Jeroboam and all the fathers before him were doing evil in the sight of God. But in the midst of the evil, he finds enough in him to turn toward the God of Abraham, toward the God of Isaac, and toward the God of Jacob. And he goes to the man of God and he says, I know that God is coming for you. The man of God said, open the window to the east. Now this is important because the east is where the sun rises. It's where God can shine on you. And I came to tell somebody today that all you need to do is look unto the hills from whence cometh your help because your help is coming from the Lord and Elisha said uh, he said shoot uh, Elisha told the king to shoot uh, the king shot the arrow uh, it went out to the east uh, and Elisha said to the king uh, he said look now uh, I know what they're doing back there uh, but this is the arrow of the Lord's deliverance. In other words, I'm telling you now that God is going to deliver you. You're going to fight the war in Aphek. And every enemy you got, I'm going to destroy. What would you do if God told you he was getting ready to give you a miracle? What would you do if God said he was getting ready to deliver your child? What would you do if God said he was going to heal your body, huh? what would you do huh? if God said he was getting ready to make the way? Huh? What would you do? Somebody don't know what they would do because we got one foot in huh? and we got one foot out. Huh? And we really don't believe that God is a miracle worker. Huh? We really don't believe that God is a healer. Huh? We really don't believe that God is a way maker. Huh? We really don't believe that God can turn it around. Huh? But if there's anybody here that no God is able, I need you to give God a shout of praise right now. I got to close this thing but the bible says huh, the prophet looked at king joash huh, and said this is huh, the arrow huh, of the lord's deliverance huh. he says all i want you to do i want you to take your arrows huh, and i want you to smite them huh, upon the ground huh. And he was just like some of us. And I believe it's because he had a complex. He went to the prophet. But he really wasn't sure. 
the prophet said all I want you to do I want you to smite your arrows on the ground and the Bible declares that Joash took the arrows and he smited them one I just dropped them you can keep that two then he did it a third time three and the Bible said he stayed I just asked y'all what y'all would do if the Lord was told you he was going to deliver you tomorrow. Lord told you he was going to bring you out tomorrow. Some of y'all, let, hold, 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 let me preach. Let me preach. Let me preach. Some of y'all praised him. Some of y'all just looked at him. Looked at me. Some of y'all clapped once or twice. But, but, but he told them that he was going to deliver them from the Syrians completely. He was going to annihilate them. If, if, if he would just shoot the arrow and if he would beat the rest of them in the ground. Now you might not see what the problem is. The Bible says that Elisha got rough because he only dropped three on the ground. But that's when you got to do your homework. This is when I know I got Sunday school people in the room. Because you'll know in that day a quiver of arrows huh, would be five or six arrows. And so if you were really going to beat the arrows to the ground, you should have beat them all until they was all gone. And then God was saying through that act, I'm going to deliver you from your enemies until they're all gone. But because he only did it three times. I'm going to say it like this. God wants to move on your behalf. Because you can only, but because you can only praise him when I tell you to. because you don't have a praise on the inside oh, 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 oh. I wonder today is there anybody here huh, that really need God huh, to do a work in your life huh? I don't want you huh, to worry about the bill huh? I don't want you huh, to worry about the sickness. Huh? I don't want you huh, to worry about the challenge. Huh? What I need you to do huh, is take your arrow of praise. Huh? I don't want you to beat them in the ground, huh? but I want you to lift up a praise. Praise him. I got the clothes, but we're in a war, y'all, huh? and we can't be one foot in huh? and one foot out. Huh? Y'all done came here huh? for 96 years, huh? but I came to tell you, huh? it's not over. Huh? Thank God huh? for Pastor Spence. Huh? God let him start it, huh? but you are here to keep going. Huh? Thank God huh? for Thurlin Burton. Huh? God let him play a part. Huh? But you are here huh, to lift up the bloodstained banner. Huh? Thank God huh, for my father. Huh? He did a great job. Huh? But we're here huh, to lift up the name of Jesus. Huh? We're here huh, to tell the world huh, that Jesus huh, saves. Huh? That Jesus huh, heals. Huh? That Jesus huh, delivers. Huh? That Jesus huh, breaks the yoke huh? that Jesus huh, will break every fetter huh? that Jesus huh, can make way huh? say yeah and I know it won't always be easy huh? but I heard Paul say huh? when he got in his real right mind huh? he said finally my brother huh? be strong in the Lord huh? and in the power huh? of his might huh? he said put on huh? the whole armor of God huh? that you might be able huh? to stand huh? against the wiles of the devil huh? for we wrestle huh? not against flesh and blood huh? but against principalities huh? against powers huh? against the rulers of darkness huh? of this world huh? against spiritual wickedness huh? in high places huh? but he said take the whole 
armor of God that you might be able to withstand in the evil day. It's an evil day we're living in, but I wonder today, are you ready to stand? You got to combat the spirit of indifference. You got to stand, and when you've done all you can, stand. Oh, the songwriter would say it like this don't stop praying the Lord is nigh don't stop praying he'll hear you cry the Lord he's promised his word his word is true don't stop praying he'll answer you Saint Stephen God's got more for you to do God's giving you a new vision God's giving you new revelation God is giving you a new opportunity don't quit be not weary be not weary in your well doing for in due season you're going to reap I need somebody that will in faith just do like this cause it's coming to you it's coming to you it's coming to you ah, yeah oh yeah the harvest is coming yeah yeah yeah, yeah. might get dark might get dim but don't quit may have to endure hard times but don't quit he said stand having your lawn good about with truth and the breastplate of righteousness your feet shall with the preparation huh, of the gospel huh, of peace huh, above all huh, take the shield of faith huh, where you're able huh, to quench the fiery darts huh, of the devil huh, and the helmet huh, of salvation huh. I'm gonna put a pin right there huh, because so far huh, everything that we have received huh, from Paul in his text huh, our defensive mechanisms huh, that are given for us huh, not for the enemy to steal our hope huh, not for the enemy to steal our faith huh, but they are protected huh, the helmet of salvation huh, the shield of faith huh, but then he gives us one weapon huh, that's the sword that's the sword that's the sword of the spirit which is the word of God so you really don't need a hiding place in the word of God it's not for your defense you got to learn how to use it it's for your offense it's for you to beat the devil over the head but you got to be careful because the sword of the spirit doesn't have a handle it's quick and it's sharper than any two-edged sword so when you don't study oh, when you don't study when you don't know the word stay out of grown folk business because the devil gonna beat you up like he did the sons of Seba huh? and if the devil don't beat you up huh? you're going to wind up cutting your own self huh? because you mishandle huh? the word of God huh? but oh thy word will be a lamp unto my feet huh? and thy word huh? will be a light unto my pathway I'm going to hide I talked about that the other time I'm going to hide the word in my heart huh, that I might not sin. Huh? Oh! He said the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Then he said, pray with all supplication. 
you can't use the word without getting revelation from God that's why you got to read and pray oh, yeah you got to read and pray you can't just read and start doing what you think you see but you better ask God for power I got to quit. I got to quit. We've got to pray with supplication for all saints. I know it's anniversary and that's why we need one another. I need you. You need me. We are all a part of God's body. Stand with me. Agree with me. I'm getting ready to sit down. But the Bible says, Rejoice with them that do rejoice. The Bible says, If one can chase a thousand, two can chase 10,000 devils and put them to flight. I'm getting ready to take my seat. I ain't gonna holler this because God then already said, breakthrough is coming and, and this is it Ella Hughes this is it the truth of the matter is this breakthrough is already here when I look at new community since my dad died I didn't know how we was going to make it but I watch a God add to the church such as should be saved there all I'm trying to show you is that breakthrough is already here and, and I'm looking over here and it looked like, looked like the fields are growing. Looked like the grass is getting greener. Looked like the church is being added to. But yet and still there's somebody that won't catch the vision. Somebody's still indifferent. Somebody won't go all the way in. But if you really believe God is getting ready to send the harvest, I need about 30 folk to begin to give God the greatest praise you can give him right now all over this church I need you to praise God like it's already done God is already doing it all you got to do is just come in and grab the hope. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Look at somebody and just tell them it's already done. 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 Come on, come on, come on. It's already done. Said it's already done. In Jesus' name, said it's already done. It's already done. Said it's already done. Said it's already done. Said it's already done. Said it's already done. I said it's already done. Said I believe it. Said I already receive it. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. Ah! Hey! 
Hey, hey, hey. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, clap them hands and give God praise, everybody. Come on, open up your mouth and give God praise. Hey, hey, hey. I want you to I want you to encourage your neighbor. Lord have mercy, mother. Don't do that. I my shit. Glory. 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 Oh, the Holy Ghost is here. Oh, the Holy Ghost is here. Yeah, yeah. So you better get in this place. Take your place. Take your place. Glow, 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 glow. Glow, glow. Yeah. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love him. I love him. Because he first loved me. And he put just my Salvation Oh God Calvary I love him Come on I Come on because Because And he put just my salvation, oh God. The incredible thing. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Yee. Just lift your hands. You don't just lift your hands and begin to worship. Come on, come on. Come on. The presence of the Lord is here. Don't be like Joel Hash. Your miracle is here. Don't stop halfway to your miracle. Don't stop halfway to your breakthrough. Don't stop halfway to your deliverance. Come on, come on, come on. Get all God has for you. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hey, hey, woo! My God! Oh, thank you! Hey! Whoa! 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah!
God's going to do it. He's going to complete the work. Oh, you're not going to go half. You coming all the way out. And you coming out with your hands up. You coming out free. You coming out healed. You coming out delivered. You coming out blessed. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Come on, Zion, he's here. God is here. Uh, yeah. Whoa. Uh, go, go. Be healed. Be delivered today. Be set free. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Go, go, go. Uh, have your way, have your way, Father. Have your way, have your way, God. Have your way, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Sweet one, the sweet one. Come on, you, you ought to bless the name of the Lord. You ought to bless the name of the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Deliverance is here. Deliverance is here. Hallelujah. 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 Come on and clap them hands and give God praise, everybody. I'm getting ready to take my seat. Hallelujah. But God has a great work for us to do. He's not through. But we have to take our place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just Come on! 
on and praise him. Come on and praise him. Ha ah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on and praise him. Yeah. 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 You ought to be on your feet. Come on. Yeah. 
The presence of the Lord is in here. Oh, yes. I would leave. I would not leave the way I came. It's too much power. Too much power. Yes, sir. what drove me to want to get better so I can get back to rejoicing so I can get back to giving God glory I felt incapacitated I felt restrained I felt constrained I said God I can't praise you like my heart wants to you got to heal me and so I took the as they went I adopted that. I said, he's healing me as I go. Every time I lift my hands this way, he gives me to lift my hands this high. And you don't know what it feels like to be unable to get up from a seated position and have to be retold. Had to go to therapy to learn how to get up from a seated position. They taught me how to get out the bed. They taught me how to, time, they taught me these things. Had to reteach me these things. But I'm here to tell you tonight. They taught me how to walk backwards too. Because the God I serve, He's able. He's able. He's able. I love to dance. My dance is still a work in progress. The feet don't, they just don't move quite yet. Mother wind like I want them to. But I'm gonna ask they went. So I'm gonna keep picking them up. I'm gonna keep putting them down. I'm gonna keep picking them up. And I'm gonna keep putting them down. And I'm gonna keep picking them up. And I'm gonna keep. You don't know. I'm a firm believer. You don't know like I know what he's done for me to be able to stand here right now and not be short-winded, not feel fatigued, not have dizziness in the head. 
Because the God I serve, he don't have to do anything. He don't have to do anything. So I'm in that as they went stage. He's renewing me, Mother Hill. He's renewing me over and over. So we thank God for Bishop on tonight. Hallelujah. Glory. Ha! Thank you, Jesus. And we're calling Dr. Barbara Jean O's. I'm her assistant, but we're calling the coordinator of the 96th church anniversary. We just fall off from 100. And I'm believing God, he's going to let us live to see it. I want to live to see it happen. I want to live to see it happen too. Amen, amen, amen. This church anniversary, this time, has been a revival every night. And I knew God was going to come up in here again tonight. Oh my God, I'm just so grateful. Thank you, Bishop Mark Thomas, for that anointed work. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And our pastor's coming to present the offering to our bishop momentarily. But I wanted to say this to the saints, not only St. Stephen, but everybody that's here, our visitors. When you give out of, you know, out of your heart that, that you are able to give, you can dance better. You can shout better. You can feel better. And then you know that you're giving. And guess what God does? He come right back and replenish you. Guess what y'all look for? it. He said blessing. You better look for it. Don't second guess God. He said healing. You better look for it. Don't second guess God. Sometimes we get it all in here. When you get out, the devil start talking to your mind. You got to learn to shake him off. Hallelujah to God. You have the victory. Go home with the victory. Come back with the victory. Go on your job with the victory. I want to say, I thank St. Stephen, I thank Pastor Hughes for allowing me to serve one more time. I said, Lord, if I can just make it to the 100th year. Hallelujah to God. I've been serving since Ella Burton time. But the Lord, each year, he carries us higher and higher and higher. And I just praise God that even after that time, um, Bishop Thomas continued to let me serve the time that he was here. And now we have Pastor Hughes, and I thank God. But I wanted to say to everybody, we had a goal that we wanted to meet for this year. I want you to know we went far and beyond the goal. Did y'all hear what I say? Far and beyond the goal. Even on tonight in our offering, we went far and beyond. And that took us a little bit higher. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Our pastor is coming to present the offering to Bishop, and then we want you to stand.
a first lady can get what she needs if you clap your hand to help her. Come on. Oh. You know how we do it. Yes. Breakthrough. 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 Sometimes they tell you, say, you know, they tell you, don't keep saying, look at your neighbor and don't shake your neighbor hand and all. But I want y'all to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's all right now. Whatever was going on is all right now. It's all right now. You ain't even got to worry about it. It's all right. It's all right. Jesus has fixed it. It's all right now. It's all right now. It's already fixed. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. It's all right now. Hallelujah. Ah, Jesus fixed it. Woo! Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Well, you know, sometimes you can dance. Y'all might as well come on, you dance a little better when you have some music. Come on, give them some music so they can finish getting it out back there. Give them some music so they can finish getting it out. Sometimes you got to get it out. You got to get it out. Come on, you got time to get it out. Get it out. Don't go back with it. Get it out. There you go. There you go. Get it out. Hallelujah. Jesus. God 
be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I found a friend who is all to me. His love is ever true. I love to tell how he lifted me and what his grace can do for you oh i'm saved by his power divine yes to life supply life now is sweet and my joy is come for i'm Come on and clap your hands real good. Hallelujah. It's good to enjoy your saved life. I enjoy my saved life as well every day. Listen, our pastor here at St. Stephen, he gives us instructions. Um, uh, Bishop Mark, I want to tell you this. Um, your dad had a way when he wanted something done. He just put his hand down like this. I mean, ain't no need asking another question. Cause when he spread his fingers and put his hand down like that, we knew what Bishop was saying. So <laughs> we go in the office and we try to talk and Ella Hughes spreads his fingers and we listen what he said. So this time I went in the office for something else today, but I wouldn't tell him what I was going in the office for. He called me in the office, but that was for something else. But when I got out the office, I called the team, and they were saying, you know, Father's Day, we know Father's Day is coming. But I said, this is now. This is today. And I said, I want to be able to be a blessing to our pastor in the church anniversary. So, Pastor Hughes, I'll take it later. You spread your hand later. But right now, we want you to receive this offering from the St. Stephen Church of God in Christ. Come on and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We praise God. We love, we love, we love, we love our pastor. Amen. And he has, I tell you, God couldn't have left us with more capable hands. And the late Bishop Ted G. Thomas believed and knew that. And he had already set things in order. We thank and praise God. For our late pastor, late Bishop Chet G. Thomas, amen. And we thank God for his successor, amen. Pastor Bruce Elliott Hughes, all the way from Hughes. At, you got it. Amen. At this time, let's receive Pastor Hughes. Pastor Hughes is coming. Amen. He's coming back. Amen. We just want to acknowledge, amen, Mother Hill. Amen. Mother James. Pastor James. Amen. Mother Wynn. Amen. All the saints. Amen. Thank God for you. Amen. I'm sitting here. Amen. We thank and praise God for your want to say by way of special announcement. Amen. We do have a light refreshment repast in the back. Amen. We want you to come to the back. Amen. And I'm going to ask St. Stephen, would you please allow our sister church, new community. Amen. They may go before you. Amen. There's plenty. Amen. I'm also going to ask if, if our pastors, amen, Bishop Thomas and Bishop and uh, Pastor Hughes and our first ladies, amen, would immediately go to the back so that we can do the cake cutting, the cake ceremony and that we can begin to get the, I'm military. Uh, is it, we, we, we love to do cake cutting ceremonies I, I, for many, many years. So we're going to have our cake cutting ceremony in the back. Amen. And then we're going to cut the cake up and give it to you. But we do have some light refreshments for you all to come. Amen. And just, you know, you can ride down the road and, you know, swerve and, you know, and eat on. Amen. It's, 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 it's a to-go-ism. Amen. So you can get your, get your, get your uh, plate and then they'll, they'll serve you. We have some, uh, some very nice hospitality people down there that's going to serve 
serve you on this evening. Amen. And thank you, praise God, again for the 96th church anniversary. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I believe that is it, Pastor. Amen. So we're going to ask, amen, Bishop Ted. <laughs> <We're> gonna... <laughs> that happened somewhere else. <laughs> Someone said, we're going to, we are going to ask, amen, Bishop Mark Anthony Thomas Sr. to come in and have final remarks and the benediction. Let's receive Bishop at this time. Let's receive Elder White at this time. here in the house of the Lord once again and all I say is my pastor has done it again Amen. Amen. he has stirred the ship and we on sail hallelujah thank the Lord for him and for you Heavenly Father we thank you for this service we thank you for what has been done and said we thank you most of all for the preached word God, we thank you for your anointing and your power and your spirit. Now, God, go with us as we leave this place, but never separate us from you, God. Keep us in the heart of your hand in the midst of your glorious spirit. And now, the may the grace of God, sweet spirit, communion, rest through and abide forevermore. Let the saints of God say, Amen. <laughs>